11, Nina. It's 11 in Ohio. Yikes. Oh, the one everybody's been looking for. Bud Selig. <sighs> Is it worth randoming this off, or should I just... I don't know. Just give it to whoever. Whoever gets the least amount of cards. I'm just going to give this to you. Oh, yeah, Bud, Bud Selig. What an attractive man. Is that what the ladies like? Let, let's okay. Maybe I should just maybe Bud Selig should just hang around for a while on the Striker Breaks channel, so we can. Well, he looked a lot better back in the day. Full head of hair, most likely a wig. He's just like, eh. Like, that's the best photo of Bud Selig you could find. He looks like he's just going. Bleh. Should I put it in a, a one-touch? <laughs> put, put this bud in a one-touch. At least I'll put him on a stand. How about that? In front of the Tatis. No, get out of here. I'll put him on a platform in the back so that we can see his handsome, agape mouth. There we go. Put them beside no name and throw them both into the fire. Yeah, it definitely looks like a wig, Mark. It's got to be. He does have a pretty decent jawline. But I don't know what that thing is. I don't know if you can see that. Like, what's, what's, the, what's going on right here? What is that all about? It's not good. It looks like one of those holes, a trachea, tracheal hole that the those the bad smokers have to have. <laughs> Toupe, uh, yeah, I, me neither. It needs to be by Clayton Claus. <laughs> so we can get a new Toupe, okay. There. Bud has some things he wants for Christmas. Is he alive still? Selig? Ugh. Sorry, that, that was on the screen for too long. <laughs> That's such a toupee. 100%. It's got to be. Because wasn't he pretty bald towards the end there? You can always tell a toupee when it like goes over the ears like that. And it kind of comes out too far on that side. Like, dude, you're not fooling anybody. Just go with it. You're, like, filthy, filthy rich. Nobody cares. Just just go with your bald head. Yep, a little more salt. Too much pepper in there. Well, you can see where his real hair is coming out underneath, right there. It's gray. You see that? Yeah. I love investigating, sleuthing it out. Don't wear a toupee on Striker Breaks channel or we will out you in front of the whole world. There's a dude at a local bar that I used to frequent and he's, he's probably 60 and the biggest wig black jet black wig you know you can see the the like salt salt and pepper beard and then just a jet black big toupee like full head of hair toupee i was always like guys that's that's a toupee right and they're like no i'm pretty sure that's his hair I'm like no there's no way yeah, Bud knew all about juicing. He probably went through a back channel to supply them with the juice. You gotta commit. Commit to the wig. I I will commit to a shaved head when the day when the day comes. Beautiful Munson mustache. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it.
I, th I think the dude... I think the dude... You, I think it was just a wig. Because it was just too full of a head of hair. For an old dude. Who wants a mustache ride? Nothing wrong with just for men. I've never used it, but I wouldn't be afraid to. What's up, Robert? Is it working? You can hear? All right. Apparently, they didn't like all the Bud Selig mockery. Who is they? You know who they is. The Grabblers. Woo! Hook me up with a thumbs up. Let's get this rolling. Let's get some people piled in here. Round two. Foot. Couldn't handle Selig. I had to keep it, guys. There's, there's too much fun that we can have with this. You could probably buy about 50 of them for 50 cents. NZ. How's it going? Everybody's back. Come on in. Selig was behind it. His net worth is $400 million. It was, it, Selig was surely behind it. He probably owns like 15% of YouTube. Now how about that? Is it on the screen? Yeah, he is a champion, that Bud Selig. There we go. <laughs> okay, now, I, <laughs> isn't that funny? <laughs> this is where my brain is. <laughs> ah, Bud Selig, he's so great. <laughs> I thought you guys might like that. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we'll move this up here. Call that good. How about we'll add another one? I'm just learning how to do all this. How about this one? He is pretty good here. In this picture, Bud is grabbing an invisible ghost's boobs. What do you think of that one? He's just like, hey yo! Casper's sister came into the frame. And then, let's see, we've got. You know, I got one more. This is Bud's. If I can find it. I'll get better at this also. This is Bud Selig as the late Stephen Hawking. I thought it was pretty disgusting that he would mock the greatest mind of the 21st cent century, but you know, he's a bit of a jerk. So people tell him like you can't make fun of handicapped people and he doesn't care. He's a 400 millionaire. He can do whatever he wants. I mean, that's what that's what he thinks. <laughs> yeah. Were you informed about the performance enhancers? I'm gonna go find my brain with my finger. That's Bud Selig for you, ladies and gentlemen. So that was the Bud Selig mockery that we got grabbled for right off the bat. Had to come in early to mock Bud Selig because that was so fun the other night. And his obvious toupee. <laughs> I know, it's pretty gross. Anytime Bud Selig's on the screen, it's really gross. We'll just, why don't you back off a little bit, Bud? You're cramping everybody's style. They're, they're pricey. 
There we go. Look at that. There's the man, the myth, the legend. Set that aside. Can never have too many bud ceilings.